toast tap card readers come as either direct attachments for your terminal or on-counter readers that attach to your other toast hardware via a USB cable. In this video, we'll go over how to install and configure both versions of the toast tap. Use the navigation bar on the right side of your screen to select a section of the video you'd like to watch. The direct attached toast tap can be installed in any of the three ports on your terminal. These can be found on either side or top of the terminal. If you currently have another card reader installed, you'll first need to remove it before installing your toast tap reader. Now remove the plate covering the port you'd like to use and make sure to leave this somewhere safe for future use. Then plug your toast tap into the port. Once it's fully plugged in, it will need to be secured to the terminal using the three screws that came with the reader. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to do so. Now that you've installed your toast tap card reader, you'll need to confirm that it's been detected by your terminal and that EMV is enabled for chip cards and contactless payments. First, restart your terminal. Then navigate to the device setup section of the toast menu and scroll to payment processing. Make sure the EMV enabled setting is set to yes. Under card readers, you should see your newly installed toast tap listed as BBPOS chipper 2X USB. If prompted to update the reader software on the screen, opt in to the update. The on counter toast tap will come with two cables to install the reader. These cables give you two options to connect the reader to your other Toast devices. You can either use the USB-A to micro USB cable to connect your Toast tap to a Toast hub or printer. Or you can use the micro USB to micro USB cable to connect your Toast tap directly to your terminal using one of the three ports on the side or top of the terminal. Please note you'll only need to use one of these cables to install your Toast tap. If using the USB-A to micro USB cable, start by plugging the USB-A end of the cable into your Toast Hub or Toast Printer using one of the available USB ports. Then, plug the micro USB end of the cable to the bottom of the reader using the purple USB port. If using the micro USB to micro USB cable, first remove the plate covering the port you'd like to use and make sure to leave it somewhere safe for future use. Then plug the micro USB cable and plate into the port. Once it's fully plugged in, it will need to be secured to the terminal using the three screws that came with the reader. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to do so. Then plug the micro USB end of the cable to the bottom of the reader using the purple USB port. You should now see a blinking blue light on the toast tap, signifying that the cable is plugged in all the way. Now that your reader is installed, Let's go over how to mount it to a counter using the included mounting kit. Start by wiping down the surface you'd like to mount it to with the alcohol wipe included in the toolkit. Then wrap any excess cable around the inside of your toast tap to reduce wire clutter. Next, we'll attach the plate to the counter where you'd like your toast tap to be. Remove the plastic covering the adhesive strips on the bottom of the plate and then press the plate down on the counter for six seconds. Make sure that the side of the plate with the piece that inserts into the reader is facing your guests. The adhesive is strong, so make sure you plan out the placement of your plate before attaching it. Now that you've installed your Toast Tap card reader, you'll need to confirm that it's been detected by your terminal and that EMV is enabled for chip cards and contactless payments. First, restart your terminal. Then, Navigate to the Device Setup section of the Toast menu and scroll to Payment Processing. Make sure the EMV Enabled setting is set to Yes. Under Card Readers, you should see your newly installed Toast Tap listed as BBPOS Chipper 2X USB. If prompted to update the reader's software on the screen, opt in to the update. Please note, if you have a guest-facing display and have an additional swipe-only card reader, you'll need to make sure the BBPOS Chipper 2X USB reader is set to guest pay.